Welcome to a new video and today I'm gonna talk about the 17th SS Panzergrenadier Division Goethe von Berlikingen. The division was formed in October 1943 and surrendered to the Americans on May 7, 1945 with the unconditional surrender of Nazi Germany. The division served on the Western Front throughout its existence, from the Battle of Normandy to operation on the Saar, and finally the last convulsion of the war in Bavaria. The order for the formation of the division took place in October 1943. Since the flow of volunteers for the Waffen SS was beginning to dry up at this time, the recruits consisted mainly of reservists and conscripts. The 17th SS Panzergrenadiers were trained in the tools area. This training was completed in March 1944. On November 26, 1943, Werner Ostendorf was promoted to SS Brigadeführer and given command of the Gods von Berlingen. However, he did not arrive at the divisional headquarters until early January. On the 10th of April 1944, the division was officially considered ready for combat and with a celebration that included Reichsführer SS Heinrich Himmler. The division remained stationed in the Tour area where it had been established and after its inauguration became part of the German 18th Army Corps. When on June 6, 1944, the Allies conducted the Normandy landings, the 17th SS Panzergrenadier Division was transferred to the front in Normandy. There, the division arrived on June 10. The next day, the division went into battle with the Allies for the first time in its existence. On the Contentin Peninsula, its mission was to defend an intersection of roads between saint lô and Contence. By June the 12th, however, most of the Carentins was in hands of the 101st Airborne Division, and counterattacks by the 17th SS Panzergrenadiers near Contence were unsuccessful. A few days later, the division lost its commander. Ostendorf was wounded and replaced by SS Oberführer Diesenhofer. During the rest of the month and the next, the division defended the sector of the front near saint lô suffering heavy losses. On August the 6th, the remnants of the division were temporarily attached to the 2nd SS Panzer Division Das Reich, and thus became part of the German 7th Army. The Das Reich Division were transferred to Martin, near the sea, where it counterattacked the next day against the American 13th Infantry Division as part of Operation Lutig, again suffering heavy losses. A few weeks later, the remnants of the division were withdrawn from the front and sent to Chartres to be rested and brought back to strength. On September the 1st, the division was sent west of Metz, where it absorbed SS Panzergrenadier Brigade 49 and 51, which became as reinforcements from Denmark. A week later, SS Panzergrenadier Regiment 37 of the division defended Dornon against attacks by the American 5th Infantry Division. For the next two weeks, the 17th SS Panzergrenadier Division took on several American divisions at Arneville Bridgehead. On September the 10th, the division undertook counterattacks against the first battalions of the American 5th Infantry Division that had established the bridgehead. However, the Americans managed to drive the Germans back by late afternoon. Two days later, the division had to surrender two battalions to reinforce the bridgehead near Metz. The SS Panzergrenadier Brigade 49 took position at the Forêt de Fac on the September the 15th. The 17th SS received reinforcements from the German 559th Volksgrenadier Division. The American 7th Tank Division and the American 5th Infantry Division undertook attacks on the 17th SS to reach Seil, while the German SS Panzergrenadier Brigade 49 counterattacked the American 18th Infantry Division. Two days later, Panzergrenadier Brigade 49 was forced to retreat from the forest. Throughout the next month, the division was in constant combat, managing, among other things, to force the American 5th Infantry Division into a temporary withdrawal. In November, the division was transferred to the 8th SS Corps and taken out of the front line to be brought back to strength. On November the 19th, the division took position at Falgemont near the Maginot Line. On November the 30th, however, German forces were pushed further back into the east bank of the Madanbach River. One month later, as part of Operation Nordwind, the division went on attack in the Saarbrug and Safarian sector. However, the US First Army managed to stop all attacks, and on January 5, 1945, the operation was over. After the failure of Operation Nordwind, the division was taken out of the line and given a rest. On March the 15th, the division went on attack again near Utterweiler, supported by 9 Stuck assault guns. In the process, 7 Stuck plus 4 Wirbelwind flak anti-aircraft guns were destroyed by the Americans of the 3rd Infantry Division and the attack failed. Two days later, the division defended Kaiserlauten 
against the American 7th Army and slowly withdrew across the Autobahn's secondary roads behind the West Wall. A week later, however, the division was still on the west of the Rhine, defending Landau and Neustadt. Two days later, the 17th SS was finally evacuated across the Rhine, after which it immediately began transporting north to the front near Necker. On March the 30th, the division was in position to defend the Odenwald north of the Necker. A few days later, it became engaged in the combat with the US 10th tank division. These battles took place along the Necker and lasted until April the 11th. When the American 3rd and 45th Infantry Division broke through and advanced toward Nuremberg, the division broke off the fighting with the 10th Tank Division and moved into the gap between the American 1st and 7th Armies. The 17th SS Panzergrenadiers prepared to defend Nuremberg. On April the 16th, the Americans' attack began. The 17th SS managed to hold out for less than a week against enormous odds. On the 21st of April, the division withdrew further into the direction of the Alps. It offered no significant resistance and surrendered to the Americans on the 7th of May at Aachensee in Bavaria. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.